to another episode of the 50 Foot Nerds playing Cards Against Humanity. I'm here, Paul's here, Andy's here, Joe and Denise, we're all back to be horrible once again. So let's crack back on with it. Whose turn is it? I think it was yours. mine. Okay, now, let's see. I'm going to take two off of this pile. Ooh. Oops. Okay. I don't know which one I'm asking. <laughs> And who is the Hawkeye of the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> and immediately <laughs> Joe gives me an answer. <clears throat> the Avengers. The Avengers. You know, guy with the, the bow and arrow. Bow and arrow in the Avengers. <laughs> and Joe oh. reaches to a DVD collection to pull out the Avengers. Uh, Fuck's sake. Avengers, yeah. Yeah, that is. It makes sense in context. <laughs> okay. We have a whole episode dedicated to the discussion oh, of who yeah. is the Hawkeye yeah, in the Bible. Yeah. We never had a uh, serious answer, did we? I don't think we ever did. No. Purely when do we have a serious answer about anything? No, but I mean, there, there was never any archers. In, uh, but then, in the Bible. If you know the difference, then why not let us know? 50footnerds at gmail.com. On this email address I'm currently holding. Bing! What? 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 What's up with your face? What's up with yours? I don't know. People can't see yours though because you're staring at me. Yeah? Anyway, the first Andy. Right. <laughs> Who is the Hawkeye of the Bible? Let's see. Is it. Jehovah's Witnesses! Ding <laughs> 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 <You> dong! <laughs> is it. The thin veneer of situational causality that underlies porn. Of course. Who is the Hawkeye of the Bible? Is it a mad cow? <laughs> <laughs> or who is the Hawkeye of the Bible? A brain tumour. <laughs> I, I don't know which answer to give. Witnesses is the perfect answer. But it's not necessarily it the is, funniest. It is, but the funniest one I thought was the mad cow. Well, so pick the mad cow then. That, then. Who got the mad cow? Oh, there you go. <laughs> you Mine was your hobbies, weren't it? Yeah. Joseph! Okay. Joseph! <laughs> Go, 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 Joseph. Oh. <laughs> Hang in there, Joseph. You'll make it one day. Okay. Joseph, you'll do it. What's wrong with you today? He's, he's had one Malibu and look at him. <laughs> oh, these are both so awesome. Okay. What gets better with age? What gets better with age? Oh. Well, it's better with age. Like a fine wine. Mm. I said a fine wine, not a whipper. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Okay. Yeah, we'll be back after this. What gets better with age? That ass. <laughs> <laughs> You know it, baby. Uh, what gets better with age? All my friends dying. <laughs> 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 what gets better with age? About free. <laughs> <laughs> Sensor Loch Ness Monster. God damn it, God damn it, Jock Loch Ness Monster. Hey, give you no treatment. What gets better with age? AIDS. <laughs> oh. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Trust me. Oh. <laughs> look at the sad look on his face. Dun, 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 dun. I think I'm going to have to. Sorry, go I was trying to sing sad Hulk music and it turned into the Jurassic Park theme. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to have to go with all my friends that. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, you <laughs> <know>. <laughs> he just stole one ahead, yeah. I thought my AIDS card would have won that, that one. That was That's awesome. usually a regular Trump card as well. Yeah. I did love that about Dream Billy. Okay. 
A successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with... Okay. <laughs> a successful job interview <laughs> oh, 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 yes. and ends with... Countdown? <laughs> 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 no, the Austin <laughs> James love it. Uh, he makes me do that in my phone. <laughs> He's like, dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> a successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with swiftly a shaving audience. <laughs> <laughs> now that's one hell of a job interview. <laughs> Firm handshake and ends with... It looks like all the ones I've seen videos for. <laughs> a successful job interview begins with... A firm handshake and ends with... Muhammad. Praise be unto him. Gong. Bang. Yeah, I have a bang Shalom. for this one. <laughs> A successful job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with the Hillborough disaster. Oh! <laughs> 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 and we can only get away with that because we are actually in Liverpool. <laughs> if you don't know, explain to me. Uh, there was a, Could be a, the winner, but I don't know nothing about, about it. About 20-some years ago, um, there was a football match. Um, and That's right, it's here. Girls. I drive yeah. through Hillsborough uh, on the way to work. Yeah. Yeah. In, in no, it wasn't here. It was... Um, Sheffield. The Sheffield, with the yeah. The problem with the newspaper? Yeah, the same. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah okay, that one. Okay, now yeah. I understand. Yeah. Okay, okay. For those of you playing at home who uh, who don't know what it is, uh, Google it. But basically, um, essentially, long story short, lots of football fans died. Ninety-six of them, in fact. And they tried to blame it on the fans themselves, and it was actually the fault of the police. They've actually admitted it this week. Ooh, Sorry, bring the tone down. According to Vince, a, a successful yeah. job. Four more fans <laughs> deserve it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> on, Remember where you are. After my handshake and Stop ends with filling every orif orifice. 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 Filling with every orifice. With butterscotch pudding. <laughs> <laughs> That's one hell of a job into your four four things, and those are happening. <laughs> Well, you're achieving a successful much. job interview begins with a firm handshake and ends with filling every orifice with butterscotch pudding. So, so that's the what that's the, the the butterscotch pudding is used as a lubricant, so you can Achieve. masturbate to the hills of no no no, 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 <laughs> no. Every orifice gets filled with butterscotch pudding, which leads to swiftly achieving orgasm. Um, <laughs> and praising Muhammad, <laughs> and then praising Muhammad as the hills of disaster happens. <laughs> For <fuck's> sake. <laughs> Meanwhile, in England, I'm feeling every orifice. Huh? Yours? Hey! <laughs> I was allowed to put down the Hillsborough disaster card I was because I am Scouts. Like this for Muhammad. Oh, oh. Aren't we all, aren't we all just <laughs> like that for Muhammad? We want to commit, but then, you know. You're turning on Mike? Oh, it's Mike, yeah. I'd rather be a Jedi. That's a, that's a song. <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh, hey baby, come back to my place and I'll show you blank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Woody, when she laughs like that, <laughs> she usually wins. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, um, you ask a question, put down a card, pull out one that you're like, oh shit, I wish I had this to... Yeah, yeah. always happens, for sake. Just in case anyone's wondering, uh, we are playing with the standard UK edition and also with the expansion packs 2 and 3. Um, so in case you're wondering, you know, with Joe, yeah. In case with you're wondering me. why you have the standard edition, we're saying different Joe. questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Hey, baby, come back to my place, and I'll show you Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Snakes on a plane. <laughs> come back to my place, and I'll show you crying into the pages of Sylvia Plath. <laughs> because I'm a twelve-year-old girl. <laughs> Uh, come back to my place and I'll show you Panda 6. <laughs> uh, come back to my place and I'll show you passing a kidney stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, Quick, come to the bathroom. <laughs> Panda 6. I told you. I freaking told you. 
Which which? Come on. Yeah, fair point. So to prepare for his upcoming role, well. Daniel Day Lewis immersed himself in the world of intimacy problems. <laughs> 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 to prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day Lewis immersed himself in the world of the guys. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, the fuck is a world of gays. <laughs> hello, my baby. Hello, hello my honey. Sunny. Hello, my ragtime gay. Wow. Is the, why is the 1930s ragtime gay all of a sudden? Because <laughs> I just imagine people uh, like going, uh, going. You know what I could do with? Some ragtime piano and a blowjob. <laughs> Get down there, Couldn't Jeff. we all? <laughs> Couldn't we all, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> to prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day-Lewis immersed himself in the world of serfdom. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, was serfdom. Serfdom. <laughs> That's a bit like slavery. <laughs> <laughs> To prepare for his upcoming role, Daniel Day Lewis immersed himself in the world of a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of that lot, because we love them so much, the gays win. <laughs> me! I'm sure. Why does that not surprise me? Mm. Pondering music. I'm Pondering. <laughs> Blank. Hours of fun. Easy to use. Perfect for blank. Using previous answers, um, a vagina that leads into another dimension. Hours of fun. Easy to use. Perfect for panda sex. <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> the 50 foot nerds. Hours of fun. Easy to use. Perfect for the gays. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> or could have been the 50 foot nerds. Hours of fun, easy to use, perfect for Muhammad. Praise be unto him. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> we do love our Islamic listeners, don't we? We do. You know, for kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we haven't done in a while. <laughs> That's it. You are right, so. The oh, first uh, the first answer, so it will be... A greased up Matthew McConaughey. Hours of fun, easy to use, perfect for... Millwall fans. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just love to have a good time with Millwall fans. All right, all right, all right. Bill Clinton naked on a bearskin rug with a saxophone. Hours of fun. Easy to use, perfect for getting your dick stuck in a Chinese finger trap with another dick. <laughs> <laughs> right, um... Oh, that's awesome. Okay. A Burmese tiger pit. Hours of fun. Easy to use, perfect for short con of his grass. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Is that on the plane? <laughs> Nunchuck moves. Hours of fun, easy to use, perfect for fuck mountain. Is <laughs> <laughs> is that a new ride at Disneyland? Yeah, yeah ne mountain. next to next to Space Mountain. Yeah. It's on the other side. I want to go on that ride. You have to go in the back door to get there. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sean Connery's grandson wins that one. Yeah. Thank you very much. Like Sean Connery's grandson. I thought I had official that. new Trump car. I thought I had that with Bill Clinton in the new car. That was awesome. Perfect setting of it. Sean Connery's grandson. I'm sorry. I love all the hours of fun. <laughs> Call the water office of Goldstein. Oh, Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate a ginger's freckled ball sack in the workplace. <laughs> 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 Call the law offices of Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate an argument with Richard Dawkins in the workplace. <laughs> yeah. Call the law offices of Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate Chugging a lava lamp in the workplace. <laughs> and finally, call the Lord Officers of Goldstein and Goldstein because no one should have to tolerate a thousand Scottish warriors lifting their kilts in unison in the workplace. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go with a thousand Scottish warriors hey! lifting their kilts in unison. I will have that card. Uh, 
That's despicable. <laughs> <laughs> He does that, he walks past me and works just walks behind me and goes, uh. <laughs> And if people didn't know that was a private joke between me and you, I think it was sexual harassment. <laughs> hey, go next. Uh, what would grandma find disturbing that only charming? A 55 gallon drum of lube. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, here, Flip. I think I can hear Flip. <laughs> What would grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? An ether soaked rag. Ether <laughs> <laughs> soaked rag. That's lovely. Yeah, Excuse good. me, grandma, can you sniff can you sniff this for me? <laughs> oh no, look into my <laughs> <laughs> Look into my rag! <laughs> what would grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? A lamprey swimming up the toilet and latching onto your taint. Poor <laughs> 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 grandma. Oh, that, that's nice, I suppose. Does he know the works of his about Kingdom Brunel? Can't ask you. What would grandma find disturbing yet only charming? Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's in the trees! That's lovely! This is the end! It's a bad thing, isn't that it? That sounds like a person I've worked with once. Isn't there a part about my skin? That's lovely. Fire in the hole! Which one? It's the lamprey! He's not on the tent anymore! Vienna flashback. Oh, yes. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, well, I Apocalypse think, now. <coughs> I think uh, with Paul winning around there, that's a good place to uh, to cut for the uh, for the YouTube videos. Yep. Join us next time where you'll have more of this.